So the other day, I picked up a Primus Touristy stove from Russia. Let's check it out. Originally made in the Soviet Union until sometime in the 1990s, the Primus Touristy is a copy of the Swedish Optimus 8R stove. In 2017 prices, these stoves go for between $40 and $60 on eBay, whereas a real Swedish Optimus 8R goes for around $100. It should also be mentioned that the Russian Primus stove has no relation to the European Primus stove, which I believe originated in Denmark. This stove comes provisioned with a wrench slash cleaning tool. One end has a small pin for cleaning the jet. The other side has a small hex wrench, which I believe is for removing the jet should it become clogged. Additionally, this stove came with a steel burner plate, which snaps in on top of the pot supports. I'm not sure that I'll ever have much use for this myself, but it's pretty cool that they threw it in. One of the more interesting features of this stove is the movable heat shield, which can be raised or lowered to deflect heat away from the tank for when you're cooking with a very large pot. Conveniently, much of this stove is easily broken down for maintenance or cleaning. The burner easily pops free from the stove case, and the heat shield pops free from the burner. The burner itself is easily unthreaded. Which provides access to the jet for the wrench. Now, most of this old stuff isn't perfect, and this stove is no different. I expect that this stove may have been cobbled together from spare parts. The wrench that this stove comes with actually doesn't fit this jet, nor does it fit any other part anywhere on the stove. I should also mention that while this stove is a pretty good copy of the Swedish 8R, that if you've got one of these and you've got a Swedish stove, for the most part, the parts are not interchangeable. One of the things I discovered while using this stove is that I couldn't get it to latch closed all the way with the burner plate inside the stove. So what I've done is I've got a couple of small, very strong rare earth magnets that I use to stick this burner plate to the top of my stove. It's not going anywhere now. The other cool thing I discovered is that with this plate magneted to the top of the stove, it allows me to use the lid of the stove as its own windscreen by sliding this down and propping up the lid of the stove. This stove suffers pretty bad from wind blowing the flame around. The burner is fairly small, so this actually helps quite a bit. So that's the Primus Touristy stove from Russia. It's a little crude, but it gets the job done. I'd say that's not too bad for a piece of almost 30-year-old technology out of the old Soviet Union.